Yeah, you know I'm in the spot. You know I got the rocks. You know you're building blocks. You know I built the block. How you doing, baby girl? Let me put you in my world. Swimming through this beat like a beaver. Damn. Got two guns in my hands, yo, Sammy Sam, uh. But you don't fall, you come to my place, I leave you in a blood, uh. Got more rocks than Dwayne. Put that pussy back, beat that shit up, baby, leave it in some pussy pain. Shine it on me, shine it on me, shine it on me. Put the yeah. PO five to the nine one four. All I'm looking for is fine ass hoes. Catch me on the metro north, riding into the city on the looking for them hoes. Yeah, I'm gritty, it's pretty. Check me outside doing that ditty. Bop, motherfuckers wanna call the cops cause I know that shit is drop high. Yeah. Catch me in the Cadillac, catch me in the things in the back, back. Back seat of my mama's car, smoking on my my mama's sauce. I don't give a fuck about the things that they say about me on the internet, cause I don't give a fuck, cause I leave them all wet. I'm nasty, dog. I'm nasty. And lick on my dick, be doing that gangsta shit. Damn. Spreading your hips, spread it down to the flow. Ride the way up the pole. Juvie back that ass up. Playing, I get it some more. I'm throwing some ones, I'm throwing some hundreds, I'm throwing some twenties, I'm throwing some fives. Bitch, I'm stealing, stealing the strip clubs. I'm here to the day that I die. Loving the bitches the way that I ride. Suck up my dick in the way that I slide. Bitch, you know it again. You putting the flags away. I'm repping your pride. Bringing another bitch in the bedroom to give you some head. I'm bringing another bitch in the bedroom to get me some bread. I'm trying to stack this cheese from my top to my head. Because you know the bitch be talking till that bitch end up dead. Till she Blue in the face, talking that shit, no leaving a trace. Telling that bitch I'm looking at once, looking at twice, spitting the face. Yeah, yeah, calling a bitch a bitch. That's what I do in this shit. Love you, but hate you. Bitch, you still a bitch. Yeah, God damn. Dirty as a dog in the backyard, doing all the shit in a mass car. I don't give a fuck like a NASCAR going so fast and I'm act hard. <laughs> Suck it, fuck it, ride it. Share it with your friend, don't hide it. Motherfucker, just don't ride it. Hey, yeah. This ain't no calm, do what I can, I'm fucking your mom Fuck up her hair where she gave me head and she just left the fucking salon <laughs> I don't give a fuck Shut it on me, yeah Shut it on me, yeah. it on me. <laughs> That was amazing, hell yeah that was I don't amazing. even know what I said I don't, I don't even know what I said either <laughs> I fucked up at the end but it felt so good to say that get, get the salon word out <laughs> Yeah, no, it just felt fun to talk stupid That was amazing, oh, boys man. That was a fucking, t- that you, the day was going Fucking yeah, Danny went ham on that. Yeah, Shut it know. on me. Shut it on me. Shut it on me. I'm fine. <laughs> Welcome back to the Little Priori Podcast. First things first, as always, have some tour dates coming up. September 21st, I am in Long Island, New York. September 27th, I am in New Brunswick, New Jersey. And then October 1st, I'm in Washington, D.C. at the D.C. Improv. And then on October 10th, I am in London, England, yeah. Shouts to the girls at uni and it come out less the square theater, yeah? And then, uh, yeah, I think it's November 13th, 14th, and then the 16th, I am in California, Oxnard or Oxford. I forgot what the name is. Uh, Bria and San Jose, all at the Improv. So come check me out. Uh, and yeah, let's get into the show. Welcome back to the Low Priori Podcast. I'm your host, Daniel Priori, joined by my co-host, Michael Low Priori and Jared Low Priori. What's going on, Mike? What up, dude? Chilling. Nice. Glad, happy to be back for another episode. Feels good. 
Boys, back, back in the boys. Back in the building. Jared, how you doing, babe? I'm good, babes. Well, how good. you guys doing? Doing good, man. I'm fucking tired of shit. Yeah, how'd that show go last night? It was good, man. I I, I think uh, me posting on Instagram saying that I would never come back to Connecticut if like people didn't come out. Actually, they got scared and they actually came out, which was kind of nice. Love that. Yeah, it was like a little a little over 100 people at each show, which is you know not bad yeah, for me. Apparently, everybody community. was saying that Bridgeport throws down out there. Yeah, so it was Bridgeport, Connecticut. And as I was driving through Bridgeport, I was going like, oh, man, like the amphitheater looks nice. Like this place kind of looks nice or whatever. And then the sun went down. Yeah, was and I was like, yo, this is, yeah, all right. This is pretty fucking sketchy. And I've been in some sketchy fucking areas, but this place was really fucking sketchy. Really? Yeah, 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 for sure, yeah. It was ugly. It was <laughs> ugly hilarious. out there. Yeah, it was pretty bad. What it, part of Connecticut? Bridgeport. Bridgeport. Bridgeport, Connecticut. Yeah, it's, well, uh, I was it's known as like one of the worst cities in America. Is it really? really? Yeah, it is. Oh, uh, I was out. I mean, I was. Out, I remember being out in Hartford, and uh, someone got like shot like five times right down the, from the house of the party uh, from the house of. From we were having a party. a party. Yeah, we were having a party in this house, and then everyone was like, "Yo, someone got shot like five times down the street." And I was like, "Oh, whoa! I didn't know like Connecticut. I thought Connecticut was just like I don't know, not too small to get down." Well, yeah, you thought it was too small, and it's like we only know like Stamford and Greenwich. Well, everyone also was like John Mayer, Bridgeport. I'm like, oh, nice. And yeah, that's what I thought, too. That's <laughs> what I thought, too. And it was like, nah, none of that over here. It yeah. was pretty wild. But yeah, no, shout out to everybody that came out in Connecticut. It was a lot of fun. Yeah. I will be back, but probably not Bridgeport, Connecticut. Really? Yeah, it's a little sketch. Yeah, but was it a good show overall? Yes, it was a really good show overall. And let me tell you why it was uh, a good show. And here's why. Because when I was doing the show, it's nice when you do shows for people that know yeah. who you are already. Yeah. It's a lot of fun, but I've already like earned their love and respect. Like just throughout the years, like I had people coming up to me like, yo, dude, I've been watching you for 10 years. I was like, that's fucking bananas. Yeah, that's fucking wild to think Some about. kid was 20 years old last night. He's like, dude, I've been watching you since I was 10 years old. Oh, shit. That's yeah, dope. which is terrifying. Do you yeah, get this time goes so fast? Do you get people to come out to your show that are like first time well, ticket? You know, they're just like, hey, there's a comedy show. Let's buy some tickets. That's what I was going to get to. The second show, though, was a lot of people who didn't know who I was. Right. Yeah. So to have them come up to me after the show, they were like, yo, can I take like a picture with you? Like, you were fucking awesome, man. I didn't uh, even know dope. who the fuck you were. That's dope. But, yo, it was so awesome. Like, you were really, really good. So that made me feel. And it's not that I don't feel good when people that know me come up to me like, yo, you're, uh, I love you. No, it's but it's been fresh content for yeah. new ears. Yeah, that's So that's to have, dope. I had like a 64-year-old man come up to me like after the show. He's like, yo, didn't know who you were. Like, shook my hand. He was like, but I really, I really like your stuff, uh, your, your shtick. Because you know he's old, he said shtick. Yeah. So he was like, your shtick's, your shtick's like really good, and I really like your message that you give at the end of your shows about mental health and stuff. It's like really good stuff, man. I'm going to follow your podcast and all that stuff. I really appreciate it. Yeah. Those are the ones that make me feel awesome because this, this person doesn't owe me anything. You know what I'm saying? So that was a really good show, really good energy. wasn't any heckling. Um, the other the other comics that came with me, Matt and Tony, they did a great job. So it was a lot of fun, man. It was just happy to get back on the road. I needed to get back on the road doing my sets, spending time on stage, putting in those hours. So it was literally the one year anniversary of my stand up. I didn't. You oh know, no shit, yeah. oh, Caroline. Really? Yeah, it was. It, that was the one year it's been anniversary. A year already? Yeah, I've been doing wow. stand up for a year now. What the fuck? Wow, yeah. that went fast, huh? Yeah, very I feel sure. like we were just at... And Caroline's is done, right? They shut down? They shut down, but they're doing stuff for the New York Comedy Festival that I will be in, and when I get right. uh, tickets for that, that's going to be in New York City in November. Fire. They're kind of like a... They're kind of like a monumental spot, too, aren't they? Hell yeah, dude. They broke mad people in there. Yeah. Mad people's career started there. What Kevin year Hart, did, what, what year did it start, do you think? Oh, they started in the 70s. 70s? Yeah. Se late 70s, early 80s. I think because Caroline, Caroline um, Hirsch, who actually gave me a job there and let me work there, um, her, uh, Andrew Fox, Louis Ferranda, Greg Charles, they all gave me a job there. And uh, it was, they just took a shot. I was like, hey, like, I know social media, but like, I didn't know like Photoshop or anything. And they were like, nah, he's cool. Just like let him work. And then. I asked them to do a show there. I said, listen, I want to do my first stand-up show here. I always said that if I was going to do stand-up, I wanted to do it here first because it's like an iconic fucking stage. Yeah, and, you, and you've sold it out four times. Four right? times, yeah. yeah so, you know, and they, Chelsea it, Neighborhood opened 1981. 1981, yeah. I knew mm -hmm. it was late, either late 70s, early 80s. 
Uh, but yeah, no, it was a lot. It was a lot of fun, man. The thing that sucked though was driving there and then driving home the same night. I was exhausted when I got there uh, because I woke up at four a.m. to Silvio crying. I don't know if your dogs wake you up crying, but no. it was so fucking. He rarely does this, but I woke up to him on the edge of the bed where I was, just going. To, sniff, was sniff, it the thunder? Sniff. It might have been the thunder. Jack hates the thunder, dude. Hides under the bed. Pussy. Yeah. Uh, he is a bit of a puss. No, nah, he is a fucking pussy. Big old dick on him, though. No, well, Cash, they, they can, Cash think about what a oh, Cash got a big penis. Think about yeah, what a this, dog one's a, this one's a fucking pussy. Think about what a dog yeah, hears, yeah. though. A dog's fucking, like, it's loud to us, and then they have to hear that fucking crazy yeah, it's rumble. Like soul-shaking to them. To us, uh, it's godly. They're probably like, what the fuck is that, bro? Yeah, it's terrifying. And they probably feel the vibration through their bodies. Like, animals, like, hear tsunamis <laughs> and run away, right? <laughs> yeah. 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 Some, yeah, some do, yeah. No, some an- you're right. Some animals... Like I've, I always remember the scene from Day After Tomorrow. All the fucking animals start freaking out first before anything even happens. Yes, you just see everything like a snake, elephants, birds, all together, yeah. like freaking out at the same time. No, it's true. They all feel the shift before it fucking takes place. No, it's true. So he wakes me up at four a.m. I take him out to pee, but I'm the type of person that I can't fall back asleep. So if I have to like go do something that uses brain power, you're like up. walking a dog, you're up. I'm up, bro. So I'm now I'm up. It's going now. I'm writing a little bit too because it's the day of the show. It's 4 a.m. and I'm like, "Fuck, man! I haven't slept at all." I try to take a nap at 12 o'clock. I can't take a nap at 12 o'clock because Selena does this thing that drives me fucking insane. But I love her to death. She does this one. <laughs> she'll do if I'm in the bed trying to sleep. She'll trap the dogs in the bedroom with me so she can like move around freely in the living okay. room, which doesn't really make sense to me because like they just lay down. Like why do they have to be in there? But Tony is so fucking annoying. This Why dog, bro. Yeah, he just sticks to your ass. He sticks on you and he lays on you and he was fucking panting. So I'm just hearing him just like, <laughs> like, yo, mad loud. I'm yo, like, yo, get this ear, fucking dog out of here, staring bro. into you. You ever try ignoring a dog thinking they'll just stop staring at you, but then you turn around like 20 minutes later and they're still doing it? Yo, so, yeah, and then, yo, there's like this one part of the mattress that he like always smells. Yeah. And yeah. I'm like, yo, I'm like, why do you keep going back to this part of the mattress? I'm like, yo, Selena, and there's nothing ate, there. Selena definitely ate something in bed and it's like on there still. Yeah. I, I, I know. I know that's what happened. But he's just like yeah. the same fucking spot. <laughs> and I'm hearing him go. And he's doing that thing. Like, where did they go? Like, like yeah. that small, oh, they yeah, they, the, the small nibbling, small nibbling. And I'm yeah. like, yo, dude, yo, listen, I love my dog, Tony, but I fucking hate him at the same time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's such a fucking bastard. He's still that way. So oh, far. my God, dude. I cannot wait to get this dog neutered. He drives me fucking nuts. Cash, well, too, man. Cash, Cash is an nuts. asshole. It's oh. like, yo, dude. And it's like some days we'll, I'll take him for a walk and he'll be perfectly fine. And then some days I'll take him for a walk and he's a fucking freak. Shit. Just like jumping on people. Yo, he jumped on an Amazon delivery guy. And this is another thing I fucking hate, too. This is going to be a Danny Rand episode. I'm sorry. But this is another fucking thing I hate, too. People that are, like, so deathly afraid of dogs. Oh, God. God, dude. Why? Stop did... it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The, the dog runs into the elevator, goes to jump on him. I understand that could be frightening. Yeah. But to you to be like, <laughs> and yeah, he puts his, like, like back up against yeah. the yeah, elevator. Yeah, like a fucking like alligator. Like it's a yeah. mountain lion. Like yeah. I brought it outside on a leash in the first place. Yeah. I, I have it around people. I have it around people for a reason. Like it's not. Yeah, he's it's not, not a murderer. Yeah, right. and it's not like Tony's that's like, what gets me through. That's what gets me through when I see a dog. Because I mean, again, I got fucking attacked by fucking a Rottweiler. Yeah. yeah. So you fuck their ass. You know what I mean? Too. And I love dog. And I and I still. Again, if you have a phobia or something, I guess. But I when I see someone, I'll know either the dog's not friendly or not. But they still brought it outside for a fucking reason. Yeah. Some people suck with their yeah. dogs. Yeah. But if it's on the leash, a person's walking by me. I'm just going to trust that this person knows that they should not have it out in fucking public. Yeah, yeah man. And I could see if Tony was like, bah, 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 squaw, bah, 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 bah. then yeah. I'm like, all right, it's a little bit different. Yeah, Tony's just like so yeah. fucking stupid. He's yeah. just like, Bleh. yeah, like bouncing around, yeah, bouncing yeah, yeah. in the air. That's cash. And for you to be that afraid of the dog. So now I'm like, I'm mad at him, but you know, when you get mad at a person, but you're also mad at the dog too. Yeah. I'm like, why do you have to do? Why, why are you the way you are? Yeah. You're just mad. At, you're mad at both of them. Yeah. And I've been spoiled. Cause Silvio's the fucking, man yeah. Silvio doesn't do shit that's that that dude same exact thing with these two man Jack is like super low-key doesn't want to do anything rowdy and cash is just a fucking idiot 
Yeah, but the cute thing about Cash is that when you come here, he brings you offerings. He brings yeah. you. He delivers you a shoe. Yeah, he has yeah. to bring you something. He he, yeah. go, he, he sees you, he comes out of runs back to the living room, grabs something, and gives it to you like, yo, welcome, welcome yeah, back. Good he, to see it's you. It's a welcome present. But yeah, man, idiot. Tony's... Tony's like really on my last straw, man. Like, yeah, I was so close to being like, I have to give this dog away, dude. Yeah. yeah. It's just, he's so fucking annoying. I love him to death. Like, he's so <laughs> dumb, though. <coughs> he does two really smart things. When I tell him to go home, he'll go into his crate and lay down. Yeah. And uh, another smart thing that he does, too, is I if I do finger gestures to him, he knows. So if I Like if, sign language. Sign language. So if I tell him to come here, like I do a come here sign, yeah. he'll come to me. He'll do that. That's But hilarious. the thing that drives me nuts guy. about it is that everything else. Speaking of dogs. Yeah, speaking of Cash dogs. Cash has completely moved Jared's camera. Jack, but yeah. everything, Jack, yeah. everything besides those two commands, he's a fucking idiot, dude. <laughs> yeah. They you were, think never, they get smarter when you clip them? No, they just chill the fuck out. Yeah. They just calm down. This dude yeah. is a fucking... Fertile mess. He did, so when I was watching them, he did two annoying fucking things. He had he had like fifty toys with him, and I fell asleep. I, I was napping while they were there, and I woke up, and uh, I'd left a vacuum somewhere. I uh, I guess I just it's like it's like if they see it past a border or something, their brains just go, all right, this is probably just like free free toys. Well, they probably there's no scent on it, so yeah. they probably want to add their add fucking their shit to yeah, it. Yeah, but I woke up asshole. and he chewed the, and he chewed the most important part of the fucking vacuum. I was like, how the fuck do you know to do that, you little assassin? Oh, the other thing he, he, he got that was Tony. Yeah, yeah it was dude. Tony. <laughs> I woke up Dog and sucks, he destroyed man. my he destroyed uh one of the nozzles and then he destroyed the part where the vacuum goes in to make so like it, you take it apart to make it extend it longer yeah. and then you put it on to make it be the actual vacuum to the body from the, the bottom vacuum, yeah and he body. destroyed the part that goes on he like he it's a it's like a perfect circle whoever invented it made like a perfect symmetrical circle just like plops in yeah. and he fucking destroyed this person's symmetrical work oh my he's it's so, just like a bent <laughs> he made it like a bent c and I, it wouldn't go on i had to like I had to like melt it back out fucking and I was like dude how'd you know to go he went for the most annoying part of that and I was like you have 15 fucking toys yeah. right next to you he doesn't that, care dude He's that fuck, and he, he does keep, that shit on purpose bro yeah. and he kept peeing on uh, Silvio's head when we would go out it was the fucking most annoying shit the other thing there was a part too, too when uh, uh, he was trying to jump on this woman cause she was like oh my god I got on dogs or those are they are they what kind Weimer, of breed are they Weimer Reiners Weimer Reiners and he was jumping, and I was like, "No, they're not." Like, but like, yeah, didn't want to like yell. Sucks, bro. But like, he was j trying to jump so hard on her, and I was like, "I was like, I was like, Tony, chill." But then he also does this thing where he fucking comes up to you, and he just puts his head on you. And he's just like, "Yeah, so it's up." Yeah, yeah. he's you so know what I mean? yeah, like such a fucking adorable dog. He's just my idiot. He's a, my idiot. Yeah, you yeah. know, like I'll, I'll die him. for him. I'm stuck yeah. with him. But it, literally, like. Yo, we leave him alone in the crate, and somehow, like, he drags, he, like, moves the crate and drags like, clothes and ruins clothes. I bought Selena this amazing fucking jacket uh, on our honeymoon. Yeah. Oh, God. And he got to it, and he fucking ate it. Oh, what a God. dick. Ripped holes in it. Silvio has never done anything like that ever. Yeah. Right. So I've been spoiled. Yeah. Eli was like that, too. Yeah. Eli never fucking ate shit, didn't do none of that shit. Yeah. Tony is a fucking... This dog deserves to be on a farm right. somewhere just running wild and, like, doing shit. Just fucking shit up. And he's, oh. now he's just trying to fuck Silvio all the time, too, dude. This mm. dog is driving me nuts. All I can hear while he's destroying shit in your house is, Roll over, Beethoven. Tell him she got to the move. That scene from that movie... Even when I was a kid, I was like, I never want to fucking own a dog. Oh he destroys God. every. He, it's like just like him shitting and putting mud everywhere and fucking j and jizz from his mouth, yeah. just saliva everywhere. And I was like, oh, I don't. Is yeah. this what it's like to own a dog? Yeah, yeah. it's yeah. real Marley and me type shit right now. I just I'm praying that when he gets neutered, he just shuts the fuck up. Thank the good thing about my dogs though too <laughs> is is they don't cry. Like they don't. No, they, they're very quiet dogs. They're very quiet dogs, but they're just Tony's relentless. Yeah. Just a relentless Silvio's animal. just like, you can get the energy out of him, but he's a depressed animal. Uh, every yes. Time. Silvio just is, he's just a burnout. Yeah. He's just like once he lost his testicles, he was like, I'll never trust these people again. But that's my fucking homie for life. Yeah. Silvio, he's, dog. they're, they're both such, they're, I mean, they, but Silvio, Tony's a bad dog. Silvio's, <laughs> And Silvio's a great dog. So, yeah, yeah. Somebody, I saw somebody, they buried their dog on a tree. Like, they plant, uh, they, like, they buried him in a tree. 
And then on top of it? No, no. <laughs> oh, I thought the, I thought the du- is that what you thought? That no, he buried I, him in a tree. No, I thought oh, they were saying the that they put it there and then and then the tree came up and the dead dog's body was in the tree. No, oh, no, Jesus. no. So you know like dead people, like you can like you crust them up. Yeah. You know what I mean? And Ashes. Like, yeah, that's the word. <laughs> <laughs> crust them up. No, I'm sorry. Ashes. You, you know, you crush them up into ashes or Cremate. whatever. Cremate, that's the word. I knew it was CR. But uh, you take those and you put it in like soil and you can grow a tree from like a dead person. Oh, yeah. You put it in a little capsule thingy. Yeah, so they did it with a dog and uh, it said he was, uh, whatever his name was, I forgot what his name was. And the thing on the gravestone said he was a bad dog, but a good boy. Oh, I like that. You, you know what I mean? Yeah. That's Tony. Tony's a yeah. bad dog, but a good boy. That's actually a perfect way to put it. Yeah. And I was like, damn, dude, that's a great. I, I hope they, I want that on my grave. You know, you yeah. know why those things? He was a, he was a bad dude. You know, he was a bad but a dude, good boy. but a good guy. You know why that style of, you know why that style of uh, bur- bur- burial? Burial? Burial. Burial. I say burial. You say burial? No, I say burial too. I say burial, burial too. Burial. Um, right? That's burial. the style of bury, burial. There's bury, out. then there's bury. Yeah. Well, bur- it's spelled bury. Bury. Well, hold up. All right. There's bury. Right. Bury. Yeah. Bury. Bury to bury someone. Right. Burrow. To right. Burrow into the ground. Right. Right. And then what's the other one? Uh, what's Bur- what? borough like where you live like this, the boroughs yeah there's boroughs like where you live and then what's the thing um where where they lower lower you into the ground with a thing spelunking now spelunking isn't spelunking when you're like a caveman you go in spelunking in a cave i thought spelunking was like going through the floor no, I thought I think like you spelunk down. Maybe it is. I thought spelunks was when you fucking when you go through a fucking cave and just keep making a fucking cave out of it See, or a I'm mine. Tra- we, uh, no, uh, is that what it is? A little chip chat. Spelunking has to the do ex- with mining, right? Spelunking is the ex- exploration of caves, especially as yes. a hobby. Oh, so it's not like going down. What's the thing when like in movies when they're like I'll see you down there, like, yeah, you wish. Yeah. yeah. And then, like, bouncing off the side. Oh. Repel, repel? Repel. Repelling, yeah. not spurlunking. Yeah, and then, yes. and then when. And then, spurlunking. <laughs> yeah, spurlunking. <laughs> not spurlunking. Yeah, spurlunking. And then it's belay. When you're saying that you're going to go down, you that's say on, uh, on belay. That's the word. Belay on. How do you spell that? Another word belay, I think, is spelled B I L E T, but it's a French word. Oh, right. Mark Rebelay. Mark Rebelay. So, Mark. Mark where he goes Mark down. De, Mark Descender. Mark Mark Love Descension. Mark de, Oh, Descension is another one. <laughs> he almost fucking de, joked de, on that. De, one. De, descending. Descension. Descending. Descent. Yeah. What's all these other words for you know going what, down? You know what creeps? Can I tell you something though? The burial thing that you're talking about. Yeah. That style creeps me out because it's like, what if your ashes go into the tree and you're just like you grow and you're just like. Oh, you're stuck as a tree for the rest of your life. That'd be kind and, of and scary. There, and there's like some, you could feel it. And you're like, oh, I hate also, this. Also, when I was a kid, I saw. <laughs> like, <laughs> stuck, just stuck as a tree all day. And so like, cold. You're cold. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's so cold. Um, but no, I saw, I remember one time, I must have been 10 or 11 years old. Trees and alive. I saw a woman like rubbing a tree. Oh, like, God. and I was like, why is this woman rubbing a tree? Yeah. And I remember um, I was. I didn't go up and ask her, but like, you know, like when you're just like kind of circling something that interests you. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, it's not like you don't want to approach them. Well, you don't know if someone's going, has something mentally too. Well, yeah. And just at that moment, I'm like, why is this woman rubbing a tree? I've never seen a person rub a tree before. I'm yeah. like 11, yeah. you know, and he's she's rubbing this tree and I'm just like walking around and then she starts crying. Yeah. What and I was hell? like, what the fuck? Why is this woman rubbing and crying on this tree? It she doesn't make to, any sense. With the ashes of her husband in the in the growth of the tree? I, I went home and asked mom about it. And she was like, oh, like, that's how I found out that you could, like, bury somebody into a tree. Yeah. God, what the fuck? Belay is spelled B-E-L-A-Y. Belay. Yeah, it means... Um, Below? Uh, it means around a, a fix around a cleat, rock, pin, or other object. So it's like coming down. Fix right, so around a cleat rock pin. No, I don't think I've ever heard. Fix around a cleat rock pin. Cleat comma rock comma pin comma or a, other object to secure it. What's the what's the what's the longest word in the English dictionary? Is it supercalifragilisticexpialidocious? No, it's probably anti-disestablishment manitomarianisms. 
<laughs> oh, fuck Anti- move sideways. I got to read this thing? That's the longest word in yeah. the English dictionary. Why don't yeah. you look it up and see like what it's, it sounds like? Well, or copy and paste it, and maybe they'll, they, they could say it. Why don't you... Let's all try to say it. You say it first. You try, all right. I'll try to say and it. Then pass, and then pass the laptop right, over on. here. No, I'm just... Uh, Ready? Look at this thing. Numano Ultra oh. Microscopic Silico Volcana Coniosis. I think you nailed it. I think I you got like it. I, yeah. Dude, I blacked that, out. That word's not that hard, dude. No, because you have to break it down. You have to break it down. So you have Num- pneumono. Pneumonia. You have ultra. You have microscopic. Silicovolcano. Or volcano. Sol- or vo- Sol- volcano. Salvacano. Sal- 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 yeah, Silvio. Silvio uh, Volcano. Coniosis. Right, Coniosis. So, so what's the definition? The longest word, um, uh, a word that refers to lung disease contracted from the inhalation of very fine silica particles, uh, spe- uh, specifically from a volcano. Medically, it is the same as silicosis. Love that you said volcano instead of volcano. Did I just say volcano when I was reading it? Volcano. 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 Okay. Okay. Let's come I, 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 got, I, got, I got my guy that I work with, Scaramouche. a Turkish dude named Vulcan. Okay, everybody, Vulcan is here. What did Vulcan. I say to dad that one time when he was cooking and he was like, he was like just saying something, probably just being like a grouch, and I was like, uh, "Stop being such a skazooch!" <laughs> and then every, everyone started saying it afterwards. Skazooch. Does anybody have a smaller ass than Dad? Does he have a small ass? <laughs> oh my god, he just has a really high up ass because he has like small. He has long legs. He, I think that's where I get my ass from. My small, short butt cheeks are from Dad. Right, really? Can, oh, yeah, the pushed in this. I'm gonna see if we can get this thing to say it. Ready? Hold on. Nuno Mitro. No, no, matcha. Oh, hold on, I gotta fix my my, my volume. Sorry. Turn it all the way up. Yeah. Numino ultra microscopic silico volcano coniosis. No, like no way, dude. No way, dude. <laughs> also, also, like, how'd that become a word? Was some nerd fucking nutting in his ultra pants? microscopic silico volcano coniosis. That's just six words in one word. Nuno microscopic. Oh my god, I'm Coney Island. Suno, suno, macro coat on the sol volcano is osmosis. Numano microscopic ultra cocks. I can't fucking. That's hard, dude. It's like a word Kendrick Lamar would use in a song. Like, he would find a way to put that in there. No, man, no, ultra, ultra, microscopic county, yes. Super microscopic, not for a lot kind of phone. It's a microscopic county, it's a microscopic county, yes. This should have, this has no right being, it looks like a fucking cat walked on a keyboard. Dude, imagine someone pull that out and scrabble. Fuck my ass. Oh, my, I don't care. Are you even allowed? That's illegal. This, this, this word is like, this word should be illegal in states. Yeah, that's, that's, that can't be a real word, dude. It, it is. That's outrage. The mono, the microscopic ultra. Condoleezza Rice. Oh my God! All right, dude. Um, it's too hard. I'm gonna get into forty-one the letters. Forty-one. Wow. Forty-one letters. Did you just count those the yeah, whole time? Did. <laughs> did you count them one by one? Yeah. Instead of looking up how many letters were, yeah. they were in it. While we were crazy. talking, that would have that would have drove me nuts. You're crazy. Watch it. Yeah. You guys are crazy. All right, let me get into the ads. Um, that's it up. Let's go to the ads. Our good friends. Forty-five letters. Sorry. Forty-five letters. Let me go into the ads. Sorry, ads. Yeah. Shut up. Yeah, right? God's new guy, dude. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Uh, yeah, let's get into the ads. Uh, All right, here we go. Our friends over at BetterHelp. Yeah, baby. BetterHelp back in the building, honey. Yeah, dude. <laughs> yeah, brother. BetterHelp, dude. Smash, throw stuff, man. So listen, our friends over at BetterHelp. Sometimes in life, we're faced with tough choices, and the path forward isn't always clear. Everybody knows me. Everybody knows I got a loopy doopy brain going on. Everybody knows my brain's like, hey, you want to do this today? Guess what? Crippling anxiety <laughs> out of nowhere. All right. Hey, that's what my life is. That's what my life is. But you want to know is help me have less of that is therapy and especially the therapy at better help. Uh, you know, whether you're dealing with decisions around your career, relationships or anything else, therapy helps you stay connected uh, to what you really want while you're navigating life. And that's. A nice peace of mind. Am I right? Uh, So if you're thinking of starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. Uh, It's entirely online, designed to be convenient, flexible, 
and suited to your schedule. Just fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist and switch therapist anytime for no additional charge. Let therapy be your map with BetterHelp. So go to BetterHelp.com. That's B-E-T-T-E-R-H-E-L-P.com slash LOPS, L-O-P-S, for 10% uh, off your first month. That's BetterHelp.com slash LOPS for 10% off your first month and also we want to thank our friends over at factor baby uh too busy with uh your end of summer goals to cook but want to make sure you're eating well with factor skip the extra trip uh trip to the grocery store and the chopping and the prepping and cleaning up too while still getting the flavor and nutritional quality you need that's right factors fresh never frozen meals are ready in just two minutes so all you have to do is heat and enjoy then get back to crush in your goals refresh your healthy habits without missing a beat choose from 34 plus weekly flavored pack dietitian approved meals ready to eat in two minutes also you can level up with gourmet plus options preferred uh prepared to perfection by chefs and ready to eat in record time treat yourself to upscale meals with premium ingredients like broccolini leeks truffle butter and asparagus Many things for you to eat at Factor, and guess what? They're all fantastic. And everyone's like, all right, Danny, all right, we'll, we'll get to the good part. All right, here's the good part. Head to factormeals.com slash lops50 and use code lops50 to get 50% off. Okay, that's 50% off at factormeals.com slash lops50 to get 50 off. If I came to you and said, hey, you want to save 50% on your damn food? Well, you would say yes, and I don't want to hear that shit if you're going to lie and say that you wouldn't, because guess what? You would, all right? And guess what? We have a new sponsor today. All right. All right. Um, so this this Obama news that came out. So Obama ha wrote a b autobiography with some guy, something Garo, I think. Uh, if you could look it up. Look I'm up who up, um, yeah. uh, the, wrote the book with Jamie uh, with Jamie Fox with Barack Obama. I, just I thought you were going to say just, Jamie Lee Curtis. No, I just saw Jamie Fox on Jared's computer, so I said, "Who wrote the book with Jamie Fox?" Uh, but uh, Barack Obama. So it was a letter that he wrote to an ex girlfriend, uh, and previously it was redacted what he said, but now it just came out a couple of days ago, and what he wrote in the letter was, "I make love to men daily, but only in my mind." Mm -hmm. You know what that sounds like? One of the rap lines that we that we looked up the other day. Yo, it, uh, yeah, <laughs> it could it, have been like a DMX line, but it also sounds like something we would say like in a skit. Yeah, it does sound like something. Yeah, like daily, the like, daily part yeah, especially. I, I too. make love to men daily. So wait, he said he said it, and then he took it out, or someone who I, I get when the book was written. I think he was still president, so you can't be a president and have that come out. I guess. Really? You can't be a gay press? That's what I'm saying. Maybe he was the first gay press. That's what I'm saying. Or bi press. First bi press. What did he but what did he what did, what or androgynous? What is the quote? I make love to men daily. But only in my mind. But only in my mind. I got news for you. That means you're gay. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ice iced tea. Yeah. 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 yeah that's <laughs> it's my easiest quote to go back to all the time. I don't know if I've ever fantasized about making love to a man daily. Like some days, yeah. Maybe he just means just today. <laughs> Not today, though. Maybe it was his way of saying like he just has bros, but like bros, he really wants to fuck. I guess. <laughs> I, I also, see, I, would, I could see Barack having sex. He was with he man. was twenty one years old when when. Uh, can you imagine? Everyone's coming, can you imagine coming out when he, when he moves, at, when he while you're in, doing a term? Oh my God! If he came out, he's like, "We killed Osama bin Laden, yeah. and I'm gay." Yeah, and just walked away yeah. and like changed, all gay. Yeah. Change his name to Mo Obama. <laughs> the, the letter was written in nineteen. The, the letter was written in nineteen eighty two to his ex girlfriend. Oh, um, well, oh, he wrote that letter to yeah. his girl, to his ex girl. So he told his ex girlfriend, or probably his girlfriend at the time, that I fantasize about having sex with men daily. It's kind of hot, though. It is kind of hot. Should, but maybe he was just lying to kind of like break up with her. Maybe, dude. Can you imagine if he if he came out during the during term? That would be. This, so crazy. This, this, so this the country's quote, already on fire, but the, it would have been we would have been burnt to a crisp. The yeah. quote goes like this: Just in the White House rainbow. <clears throat> oh, that would have been so sick. So this is a, a quote from the letter. In regard to homosexuality, I must say that I believe in this: uh, an attempt to remove oneself from the present, a refusal, perhaps, 
to perpetrate the endless farce of earthly life. You see, I make love to men daily, but in the imagination. That, that was, was it. Quote. I just my thing is is yo I, daily I daily is crazy. That's often. No, my thing is that's a lot. Wait, wait, that that my, means wait, every day. My thing is is it, I don't give a fuck that he said that, but what the. F- like what the fuck does that even mean? That's what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's yeah, very yeah, even, yeah, if I guess said, even if he said girls, like what the fuck does that even mean? Like why why was that even I'm just so is that his way of saying I think I'm bisexual? I think so. Yeah. I think I think that is why they kept it under wraps because like it was a little sus. And they just didn't want people asking him like sus questions at, in like the Rose Garden. Right. He also wouldn't be the first politician that does mad no. gay shit and, Dude, and I, won't admit it and then goes against Gay people's rights, which Dude, is mad t- weird. Let me tell you something. I've been a daiquiri or two away from slapping a wiener around. I'll just be honest. I did it. <laughs> yeah. I was grabbing dogs at my birthday party, remember? That, that is true. You were I grabbing, grabbing so a lot of dogs. You, you were you were assaulting you were assaulting me. Yeah. <laughs> my friend, David yeah, Garrow was yeah. the biographer. David, David Garrow, yeah. David, so he David came out Garrow. and said it. Listen, if anyone in this world right now listening to the show that says they haven't been a Shiraz or two away from playing with a wiener, <laughs> sure. you're lying. <laughs> Also, if he did come out, you know how many fucking like hillbilly motherfuckers are like, I fucking knew it. Yeah, right. <laughs> fucking black and gay, gross. <laughs> Get him out of here. There's so many like. I knew it. There's so many racist southern, like not all southern. Obviously, some southern people are cool, but uh, <laughs> I knew Michelle was a man. Majority aren't. No, <laughs> That's what everybody says yeah, too. Yeah. Michelle's a man. Yeah. <laughs> so, it's just like th- there's people that wait that only think about politics all day. And because that side ruins this side or this side ruins that side. And either both sides are just waiting for that one thing. You'd be like, oh, well, it fucking doesn't surprise me. <laughs> oh, dude, that's been all over Twitter like crazy. Oh, today? Oh, my God. Was it, it today? Yeah, when did this come out? It's or just, when? It was like yesterday. The, the craziest thing, though, too, is like the gap. Is There's no middle ground. It's just like, oh, he wrote something gay. Michelle's a, a man. Wait, did this guy have permission? Yeah, dude, he was a, yeah. the autobiographer, like the writer of his book. Yeah, I think the letter was posted. They have a, a picture of the letter here. And then, and then he called Obama lazy. Hmm. Did he? Yeah, because Obama said, yeah, I'm a little lazy. I think it's because I'm from Hawaii. What the hell's that mean? That'll do it. I don't know. What the hell's wrong? What's going on with this guy? <laughs> I don't know. Obama's dropping weird bars now, dude. I think it's cause, um, I think it, maybe it means like you're just happy in paradise. You never want to get up from the, your spot. I mean, I kind of thinking about dicks all day. When I was living in uh, daily, <laughs> yeah, daily. Just, yeah. I'm not lazy. I'm just thinking about penis all day. Yeah, it's so tired. it's hard for me to get yeah. out. Of I, get ti- my I get tired. That's so that's just like thinking about <laughs> just thinking about someone in therapy. Just like I'm just thinking about dicks daily right now. <laughs> daily is such a fire word. It's such a funny word to use. Yo, that's uh, yeah. The daily is hard. That's yeah. a that's a hard D. Hard <laughs> when, when did this book come out, by the way? Recent, just recently? No, nah, it was like during his, like while he was president, I think. Was right. it then? That, oh, but that part was taken out of the book. It, it was redacted. Yeah, yeah. redacted. Yeah. So they, could, but now that enough time has gone on, to, I'm just hearing. It. I had no idea about it. I just heard. I, I, I was reading it in the in the green room. I was like, wait, what did he say? I was like, this isn't real. And then I looked and I was like, oh, it is real. You actually did write that. Well, he was probably by though. Who knows? By Dan. By Dan. By Dan, Joe. Where Sleepy does Joe. Where does Barack Obama live now? Where does he's, he live? Do is, they live in Hawaii? Is he, is he Chicago? No, he's not in Hawaii. He doesn't live in Hawaii, right? No. Does he still live in D.C.? No. Oh, that's not, yeah. I'll look at look at where 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 uh, Barack Obama. Would you be afraid as president that you're just gonna like die every day? Yeah, dude. Dude, fuck that job. You know how fucking. See- like imagine waking up with president presidential responsibility, dude. dude I, <laughs> I would suck. I wake up every day thinking I'm gonna die now. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Imagine yeah. fucking yeah, like, being president, like, like t- having a legit reason that you're gonna die. Today's the day I'm gonna just fall down the fucking steps and break my fucking neck. I know. <laughs> You know, you know? what's always been funny to me too. It's it's off topic, but when like Ruth Bader Ginsburg died and Trump finds out about it, and you're like, "Blue Jean Baby," yeah. playing in the background, he's like, "Wow." Yeah. I'm just hearing about this. Yeah. <laughs> LA Wait, that lady. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll play it. Trump finding out about Ruth Bader Ginsburg. Don't care. He goes, Wow, I'm just hearing this now. Just hearing this now. <laughs> I'm just hearing this. Still uh, lives in DC, Colorado. Don't care. Wait. <laughs> Wait. Barack Obama still lives in Washington, DC? Yeah. Dude, get out of there. What are you yeah, doing? Yeah, what the fuck? Get out what, of that place. Is that recent? I mean, DC's I DC's like 
They have an no, eight million dollar property, uh, and they own a home um, in Martha's Vineyard as well. Okay. Um, Bro, when I went to DC, I saw yeah, it says DC. fifty homeless people in one. In oh, like a dude, flock. They, they sleep like right in front of the. It was like in house. a. It was like in a flock. Shout out to all my homes, homelesses. Home, but home, fuck home, it, home, homelies. Less homelies. Home, less my homelies. My homelies. Shout out to my homelies, dog. Uh, DC Improv, October first, cheap luck. Uh, yeah, Shout out to all my homies. That's kind of weird. Uh, I don't want to get into like a political like fucking pit hole here, yeah. but if I was the president for eight years and lived in D.C. and it was like that, I'm getting the fuck out of well, D.C. This is kind of a cool town, though. Man. It is. His yeah. girls are uh, his girls are old enough too to be like, I don't give a fuck. Like, oh I'll yeah, yeah. I took care of I took care of the older of the two. Uh, Malia is that her name? Uh, the older of the two. Yeah. I think I the, took care that, of her the one that boyfriend. was like smoking weed and got in trouble, Sasha. Is that is Sasha's the older one? Sasha. Yeah, I remember Malia. people like trying to get at her for smoking fucking bud. And I'm like, get the fuck. Yes, yeah. trying so hard. Well, I was speak- like, there's pictures of her dad in a Kangol smoking a joint. Yeah, yeah thinking okay. the dudes daily. Yeah, yeah. Well, speak, of dudes s- speaking of uh, speaking one second, of uh, one second. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Is this Trump finding out about Ruth just Peter died? Trump? She just died. I didn't know that. I just, uh, you're telling me now for the first time. <laughs> for the first time. You're telling me now for the she first time. An amazing life. <laughs> what else can you say? She was an amazing woman. Whether you agreed or not, she was an amazing woman who led an amazing life. <laughs> he said the same thing seven times. I'm just like finding this time. out for the first time. Just I'm finding just out for the first man. time. For the first time. Rihanna is a whore. Wow. Rihanna's a whore. Wow. Fake Peter, news. Forehead is just filled with horniness. That's it. I don't know why I chose. I just feel like because he always chooses random artists to hate. Daily. Daily. Well, speaking of sketchy dudes, your boy Tory Lane's got 10 years for shooting Megan the Stallion. Hey, my boy. In the foot. <laughs> hey, my boy. <laughs> Not no more. Uh, they uh, reduced it. I think he's going to wind up only doing like three years. Yeah. He'll, pro- yeah. he'll do a year and a half. Yeah. Yeah. He'll do. But he, then he's most likely going to get fucking deported. Rich motherfuckers rarely go to jail. You know what I mean? Yeah. Even when Martha Stewart went, they like let her decorate her whole cell before she moved in. Like, you know, she was how long did Martha Stewart go to jail for? Jerry, can you Eight look months? that up? Oh yeah, it was like it wasn't even a year, right? She had to be in like club club fed, right? Oh, for sure. Yeah. I don't he, think she was putting in time. My thing is Tory Lanez is like my thing is is like he's a ta- such a talented dude, bro. Oh yeah. I like I like a lot of his shit. He's just a fucking five he's just months. trying too hard to be like thugged out. I think it's because he's like five five. He might small. be he might be smaller than that. Yeah, he's like a small dude, and he wants to fight everybody, and he thinks he's yeah. like fucking thugged out. He yeah. like punched fucking August Toronto. Alcina. Yeah, but everybody wants to punch that dude. Yeah. August Alcina. Yeah, he's really? he's dating a dude now, actually. Yeah, I know that he's yeah. I know that he's by he's the one. Wait, is he From the, the one that has the entanglement? Yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, five months for uh, for Martha. Tangle me. Ins- insider trading. Yeah. Right, yeah, yeah. insider uh, trading. A uh, number of financial crimes, and in the end, spent five months incarcerated at Alderson Federal Prison Camp in West Virginia, Mount Mama. Wow. She was released in March 2005 and spent a further five months under house arrest at her home in Bedford. Chilling. Yeah. Damn, bro. She got more street cred than all of us. That's really. why her and yeah. Snoop are so cool now. Yeah. yeah. They're both, well, he got off. Yeah. God, imagine, imagine writing a letter and, and to Martha Stewart for real. In, in jail. Right. Imagine yeah. writing a letter. Like, what'd you do? To, like, I wrote a letter to Martha Stewart in jail. Yo, can yeah. you look up? Uh, what's the What's the website where you could like find like j- like jail thoughts? Oh, uh, we did what that jail like dating. That? Remember? We did, did we j- look that yeah, up? We, we did jail, jail dating, dating on an episode. Yeah, yeah that's right. We did. Do we that. did like a f- fucking three hours of we jail did dating. Three hours of jail dating. Yeah, you can find. Uh, you can find pen pals. Uh, so I know someone who met a dude who's like. I don't know if, she, if she's still talking to him, but I have a friend who's talking to a guy who murdered somebody. Damn, he in prison? And she, No, they're, they're in love. <laughs> she's in love with him. They're like in love. And she went to go visit him. And he's a, and she was telling me all this stuff. Like, She's like, no, he's like a really nice guy. And I'm like, oh, yeah, sure. Yeah, it's fucking, <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 totally. Murder somebody. Yeah. Alle- allegedly. Who knows? Allegedly. Allegedly. Well, allegedly. Well, actually, it's not alleged once you're in jail. Yeah, right? no. Yeah, you're, you're, you're a convicted murderer. murderer. So he was in jail. <laughs> she went to go visit him. And they were like flirting the whole time. She's like, yeah. He's like, yeah. And she said she was like spit in my mouth. He spit in her mouth like while she went to go visit. Yeah. This this is my friend. I'm not going to say her name. She's fucking awesome though. I love her. She's hilarious. Yeah. But but she like, she, I don't know if they're still talking, but he's like her, he's like her little jail daddy. 
And like uh, she went to go visit him and he was like, yeah, you're mine. And like spit in her mouth. <laughs> Jesus. She's telling us the story like it's romantic. I'm like, what the fuck is wrong She's with like, you? Yeah, That's things wild. are going really well between me and him right now. Me, meet, meet an inmate. Meet love an inmate. love a prisoner. Yeah. Write a prisoner. Yeah. Inmate classified. Prison inmates. Inmate mingle. Dating prisoners. Friends beyond the wall. <laughs> would you say, say, say marry to Selena if you found that she murdered someone? Would I stay married to Selena if I found out she murdered? Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> My women God, women I, behind I, bars. Danny's if like, I, Danny's I, like, I got a beautiful woman, bro. I'm not giving that shit up. Right? No, no, I'm afraid that if I leave her, she'll fucking kill me too. Yeah, that's, in, oh, yeah, in, that's true. In, inmate passions, jail babes, match, jail. and uh, of course, Facebook. Jail babes. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I would be friends with someone in jail because it's like that's kind of interesting, but I'm not fucking somebody in jail. I'm not like trying to like. Nah, man. No way, dude. Right? That's, that's so, a lot of stress. Oh, my God. Going to jail and just like. Sneaking things up your fucking sniz hole. Yeah, a fucking guy walks in. He's like, "Sup, baby." Yeah, fucking like this. <laughs> he's all jingle jangly. Yeah, like, he's I'm, like, "Sup, baby." He's got like, Crocs on, orange suit, and and whatever you know. Fucking prison is, I would imagine, a terrible, terrible fucking. It's definitely a, you not. Know, you want you want to be there, but to go visit someone, if you're already in a relationship and they never did wrong to you, I guess I get it. You know what I mean? I mean, like that's like okay, they murdered somebody. But you just love someone so hard, you know. I wouldn't. I wouldn't yeah. hate on someone that loves somebody. That it. De- it also depends on what the fuck. The, you know what I mean? Like yeah. how they murder and all that. I like. I don't know this guy's whole story. I also don't want to be like a fucking secondary, like secondhand. Nice. Oh, nice. nice. Yeah. Fart, all fart right. Fart oh, by the way, everybody was saying that there is a fart mic already with the with like the Tom, Tom Segura. Segura. Yeah. I don't. I don't I've never. I Your mean, mom's house. That Your dude's mom house. can fart like something. Out of a fucking oh, movie. She's amazing. Have you ever seen the fucking video yeah. of his mom yeah, farting? Yeah. It's amazing. I, I watched like all of them after. Dude. She, she's Mex- Is he Mexican? Argentinian, I yeah. think. Yeah, oh, Argentinian. He's some, he's some kind or of Chilean. South American. Yeah. yeah. Oh, they're like, aren't they? Aren't Argentinians like the upscale? The, bu- yeah. the bougie, yeah, yeah. bougie Hispanics. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Any uh, any Spanish Span- culture Spanish that is culture. light. Yeah. Any Spanish culture that's light. Skinned with like light hair and light eyes is Spain's always on some bougie Spain's shit. The yeah. yeah, well, yeah, they yeah. fucking conquered everybody and took their, took their, m- took their m- land. M- um, there, uh, I wanted to ask you guys this about that being mixed raced, uh, POCs as they call them now, but being mixed boys growing up when we went to different family parties, was there ever kind of a part of you? Obviously, you had fun at the parties, we had family members that we loved and we got to see them. But was would you, did you ever go home and go, what the fuck am I? <laughs> All the time, dude. I do a whole. Were bit you ever of, confused I do a whole bit about, about who you are, what you are, because you don't know whether you're Italian or Puerto Rican, or did you not really think about? It? I'm talking about when you're really young. I'm not yeah. talking about now. Obviously, we're a little bit older now. We probably don't give a shit. We have bills and stuff. But when you're younger, are you like when you're a kid? Are you like what the fuck? Like what am I? Like, yeah, who dude. am I accepted by? Yeah. Which part's gonna not make fun of me for not speaking Spanish? One part, dude. I remember going to go hang out. This isn't even Puerto Rican, but I went to. Uh, uh, um, I was dating someone at the time. I hung out with their family, and all it was Dominican, and they were like, "You don't speak. You don't speak any Spanish. You don't speak like no Spanish." Yeah, I think like, of any- all that shit. And I was like, yeah. "Dude, leave me alone. Go, fucking mofongo, fuck yourself. Mofongo. Are you fucking, why are you guys fucking? <laughs> mofongo, fuck why are you guys yourself. fucking getting mad at me that I don't speak? Spanish? It made me. Yeah. It made me so like. It's mom's fault. Insecure. Maybe hate myself. Well, I don't. I don't think. Yeah, I don't think. I don't think anybody made me feel less Spanish until I was around Spanish people. Yeah. Because they're extra Spanish. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, and, and they were just like, "Oh, you don't speak Spanish." Like, "Oh, you got to learn to speak Spanish," and I, which is true. But I think if anything, like, I would probably learn Italian sooner because my Spanish is already okay. Yeah, you know but what, what I mean? would? Like, yeah, but did you ever feel? A little confused yeah, about dude. who you were. Yeah. No, I, I, not I, I really. Do, I do a whole bit about it. On Fuck stage. you then. Yeah, I do no, a whole kidding. bit about it. <laughs> I used to be like, oh, like, you know, there's, there was Puerto Rican Christmas and Italian Christmas. And then I would ask mom and dad, like, oh, which Christmas are you going to? And they'd be like, Italian Christmas. So I go, oh, all right, racist Christmas. Let's get it. Let's, Let's get it. it. <laughs> well, what, how about this? What did you, you know what I mean? I well, it's going to be racist Christmas. Danny brought up that fucking popcorn stuff he used to get with the caramel and the oh, regular yeah. and everything. And I would look into that bin and go, this is me. I don't know right. what I am. Yeah. What side do I choose? <laughs> I don't know which popcorn well, I am. What do, you, what do you feel more like, though? What do you think you look more like? How about that? Oh, that's I, a good question. I, yeah, if I get pulled over, I'm, pull, I'm, a, I'm a Hispanic male. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, Hispanic or black male. That's yeah, like, what, what they you, get. Like, what do you put down on? But forms? what? But what do I de- identify more with? I mean, because we grew up in dad's mom's house. You yeah. know what I mean? I would. I would say that I identify more with the Italian American. Maybe culture. now, bro. But you used to be yeah. a thugged out little bitch. Yeah, yeah, yeah but yeah, it was. You, you were. You were the most Puerto Rican of all the boys. You were yeah. so thugged. I was so. I. I. I've never knew somebody <laughs> I was scared of and looked up to at the same time. Yeah. <laughs> I, you, you, you were like Sonny from the Bronx. I, yeah. I told my, I told Dad once. I think when I was like younger, I was like, "I'm going where Jared is." He's like, "Where's Jared?" I was like, "He's in the hood." He's in the hood. Who <laughs> knows? I told Dad, I was like, "I'm going to the hood." I'm going right now. Because yeah. I, whenever Jared would leave, I would look out the window, and Jared would just leave with baggy pants and like his. And like holding a girl's hand, I'm like, God, that guy's so hot and cool. Yeah, yeah right? braids. Like, oh, I had braids. Yeah, you had braids too. Fox, man. Yeah. yeah, I was yeah. like, God, Jared. But the so hood hot. was so much more fun to hang out with. Yeah, it is. You it know is. what I mean? It, it was just a. Uh, but yeah, I think. I mean, I, I, more Italian American because I'd spent more time there. You know what I mean? That's true. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Yeah. What about I think, you? I think uh, it's weird. It's like. Uh, in the airport, I'm definitely uh, Arabic, so that's every time I'm yeah. in there, they fucking stop. Yeah, I get or stopped. In, in, or like in Indian, bro, I get stopped in the airport a lot. Really? Yes. Yeah. Yes, I get stopped in the airport a lot. I feel Especially like there aren't the chubby people. terrorists though. I feel like they're all skinny. That's yeah, why. but they, they got to try something different now. Yeah, they switching up. You know what they're I mean? Like, let's go with some chubby guys. It's probably, the, it's probably like they probably they I'm not the, me guys. Yes, they, first, pro- they probably look at the beard or something. Though. Yeah, they, they, they yeah, they profile the shit out of me. I'll tell you this right now. I'll tell you this right now. <laughs> Anybody on CCTV footage walking around in an airport looks like a terrorist. Cuz yeah. like they have like everyone has a hat on. Yeah. Yeah. We're all like wearing like black like yeah. tight You look pants. like you're up to something. Yeah. yeah, everyone looks like a terrorist in an airport. That's why like they have to have all those screens and shit. I get it. But like for me, uh I was stopped. Selena was stopped one time. Fucking lady was like rubbing her tits and shit. Nice. Mad weird. Dude, Selena always gets Selena like. Selena gets molested. Yeah, she always gets like Selena, harassed by fucking Selena. guards. Yeah, she does. She does. Selena always gets molested. And the Indian guy at the boat dock. Yeah, the Indian guy at the boat dock put his penis in her face. Yeah, and then the guy at the, at the, uh, at the. A uh, fucking place where you guys got married was like, damn, you work out. We're like, oh the yeah, fuck that guy said, yeah, yeah. right in front of you, yeah, right. Danny. So yeah, so we're Jesus we're going Christ. through, we're going fucking through. Psycho. Selena's so cute. She's from like, well, yeah, thank you. We're going to get married, get married. Yeah, we're in. I'm in a suit and she's in a dress, and we're going through the scan, uh, whatever the like, metal detector, <laughs> and the guy just looks at my wife and goes, yo, you work out. <laughs> And then I, I grab all the stuff out of the box. I go, yeah, she works out. I go, yeah, my wife works out. Thanks yeah, a lot. Thanks, bro. And yeah, and I just looked at him like, you fucking What a dick. Back. Yeah, dude. Like, what's wrong with people? Yeah. I've never hollered at girls like that in my life. I never hollered at a chick. And if I ever did and she was with a dude and, and I was like, oh, you would, you would, yo, my, my bad. You know what I mean? Like, Oh, yeah. Yeah. I don't expect a guy, if, if my wife is somewhere in a club or a bar and I'm not with her. Yeah. I, I, I'm not going to get mad at a guy being like, hey, like, what's up? What's up? Who are you with? Yeah, like, yeah. it's whatever. Then that's on her. But I'm going to, she's wearing a white dress where people get married all day, every day at City Hall. Yeah. yeah you know why she's here. Yeah, you fucking idiot. Yeah. And you was, work here daily. He's yeah. just harassing, yeah, daily. daily. He's just harassing daily. all women on their daily. last, on their last day of freedom. <laughs> he just harasses them. Oh, and I didn't tell you, my friend Tristan, she's an, she was uh, an actress on, um, uh, uh, MacGyver, the show. Oh yeah, it was like yeah. recently, out, and she messaged me. She's like, "Damn, that girl's got legs." <laughs> Talking about, <laughs> Talking about yeah, because I put up a picture of yeah. all of us taking a picture uh, in the city, and uh, my Danny. friend Tristan was like, "Well, I, I was like, I said something like Danny's in love.'" He's like, and she goes, "As he should be." Damn, look at those legs. <laughs> <laughs> and this is my friend Daily. Tristan saying it too. So Daily is she a gym rat, Selena? Like, is she, does she spend a lot of time in the gym? Yeah, she um, does. When we first started dating, it was like five days a week. It's a little less now. Okay, but she, 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 yeah, yeah, she gets she's, it in. She's a stallion for sure. She's a stallion for sure. Selena, the stallion. Don't act you, up. You ever yes. tell her that you're just like you're a stallion straight up? Yeah, I've been like, yo, like you're you're sav, you're you're beast. Um, what did she say about you? Um, she likes, she gets like a Tony Soprano vibe for me. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Why? She gets like a, like a, like, that's just kind of my. Oh, that's how you were dressed at, at the T-Pain concert again. Everyone yeah. was saying Danny was in by, <laughs> Yeah. T-Pain was like, damn, your brother looks fucking straight up Tony Soprano right now. <laughs> so that's, that's, so just, that's just my, my style. You want to know what's weird though? Is like, 
my style has always been like super like like throw things together like poor avant-garde right. like yeah. how billy madison like how he dressed in billy madison that's yeah. like how i used to that's dress. How I, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah 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 that's how i i, like, I dressed like <laughs> billy madison <laughs> And now everybody dresses like that. Yeah. Everyone wants to dress like avant garde. Yeah, the baggy like, shit is back. The baggy shit is back. It is. And I was like, yeah, like really I I was dressing like that like, twenty years shit. ago. Shit. Yeah. yeah, dude. And now it's like, oh, like you try to dress a little better now. Now it's like, yo, I still dress like shit. It's just cooler to look like shit now. Yeah. And it's more expensive and stuff. And it's more man. expensive. But yeah, all my expensive stuff is still just hanging up because I'm afraid to just wear I it's gotta be for a fucking a, a good ass day yeah or a bad day like I, the only time i'll ever wear like my off-white ones is like if somebody i know dies yeah i'm you know? not i'm not if or if i'm going like, like and you have to be really close to me like your really close relative dies like i'll stun at your funeral yeah yeah i can't fucking i have to yeah. wear i i just i'm like i'm i don't give a fuck what i look like anymore if i'm just going to a fucking store yeah daily daily daily, daily. We have to make daily merch now. Yeah. <laughs> daily. Yeah, daily. You think about men daily? daily. Daily. Thinking about men daily would be a fire shirt. Thinking about making love to men daily is fire. That Those need to be shirts. That's it. Thinking about making love to men daily. And Rudy Giuliani has a small penis. That's the new t-shirt you see around the city. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because he said that she said that Jews have small penises. Did he say that? <laughs> Rudy Giuliani is a fucking idiot. Yeah, yeah he's some. Didn't Jamie? Didn't Jamie Fox come out of a coma and just be like, "Jews suck," and like, like Did out he? of nowhere, like, Jesus. <laughs> Wait, came really? Up, said something about like the Jews killed Jesus or something. He just apologized for it. Though. Yeah, but oh. I'm giving him a pass because he just came out of a coma. Yeah. I don't think his his uh, I love. I've for also that people were saying about Jimmy Fox. They're like, they were like, dude, what's wrong with him? He looks like a. This looks like a clone. I'm like, bro, he was like fucking. He's going through like atro atrophy. Yeah, yeah he was, he was just sleep for like three weeks. He didn't. Yeah. He didn't eat real food. He ate yeah. through a hey, tube. Almost, for yeah, he almost fucking. He was died. dying. Yeah. yeah. He nicest still hasn't guy. said what he th what he thinks. It no, is, I, right? I guess the rumors are that it's a stroke, but I I don't know. I reached out to people that that are in his camp. I haven't really heard back from any of them, but I guess they're yeah. keeping it really quiet. But I don't know. I, Very I guess, well, by the way. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. kind of weird. I, I saw some other uh, some other kid though, like uh, like Bronny James. Bronny James like had a cardiac thing, and yeah. then some other kid just died the other day. Well, they, yeah, they, they're blaming it all on vaccines. Well, that's, yeah, that's, that's going to be the, the vaccine. The vaccine, yeah. fucking 5G. But did Bronny have a condition before that? I don't think so. I don't know. They're checking it out, apparently. Like, yo, if it, yo, it was so weird. He took his son to Minnesota to, like, it's, like, the best, like, cardiologist mm -hmm. in the world or something. Yeah. yeah. And he's coming out, and they'll be like, yo, like, he's coming out of the hospital with his son, like, looking at heart stuff. And someone goes, Look, Jordan's better. Yeah. Oh my god! Just what's wrong? Shit. Yeah, what's just wrong with people? Shit, people it's just humans, dude. And it's humans people are trying to get a moment. Weird. They're trying to get a moment. You yeah, know what I mean, like they just I, like let me say something stupid that is going to get me fucking some kind of fucking I don't know, popularity. Bro. I don't think some humans just they don't get it. See, look, and They're the just other fucking thing is too, disconnected as fuck. I'm, I'm not a LeBron stan. I'm not one of those people. LeBron's yeah. not my guy, right? At all whatsoever when it comes to basketball, but. If we need to look at LeBron James as one of the greatest American stories of all time. I would, think, I would say so. Think yeah. of the percentage chance <laughs> yeah. of him to be as good as he is for as long as he as he has been. Yeah. The li little amount of trouble that he's ever been in, yeah, if, if any, any. Right. Yeah. Right. And to be this relevant for this long. Yeah. And successful, off and the, successful, yeah. and be a billionaire. Yeah, off the well, court. Well, people hated Kobe. Look at that. People hated Kobe yeah. pretty bad at one well, point. And, because and Kobe boy, was an asshole. I mean, his boy, at times. his yeah. boy, his boy, Maverick Carter is even is a really impressive story too. Because Mav comes from like really, really rough upbringing, and I think his father was uh, like in and out of jail and stuff like that. He was a rude boy, but uh, but Maverick is is a huge part of LeBron's success, of course. Um, along with you know you got, you get surrounded Rich by Paul, the, Rich Paul like Rich tried Paul. to sell him a jersey in the airport or you something. You know what I mean? Like, like yeah, they friends. just yeah. There there are a lot of people that have that have really helped his career off the court and on the court. 
So he's surrounded by people that are really at, getting after it. You know what I mean? And so. whoever his PR team is amazing because God knows how much stuff people don't know. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Oh. And people are getting on him now because apparently his school's like performing really terribly. Yeah. None stuff. of them passed like the state exams. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's I'm, what it said. I'm sorry. It said like, not one I'm kid sorry. has passed I, the I, state exam. I, I left. Yeah, I, I promise. Left I, left I promise. Too. I promise next semester we'll pass. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. the I promise school, right? Yeah. That's what yeah. it is. That's crazy. But what yeah. a fucking nightmare. I fucking hated school growing up, and it was a nightmare worrying about what my grades were. Imagine fucking running a school, and you have to worry about fucking thousands of other kids' grades. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, honestly, that was the whole point that I went through. It's like, get the fuck out of here. Honestly, though, the Michael Jordan meme just rings true. Fuck them kids. You know yeah, what I mean? It's like, yeah. yo, you get this amazing opportunity to go to LeBron James school and get yeah. past the fucking yeah. exam. Yeah. yeah, exactly. How bad are the teachers? They must be pretty bad. Gosh. Not not only that, but I, I would imagine that he probably opened up to a population of kids that might not all just function at a normal level. You know, know what I mean? I know, but not we gotta, to not to discredit the, well, yeah, the kids, I, I, but because it he is opened a it up he, for kids that isn't it for kids that can't right. really and, afford and, and to, I, and, to and, yeah. and I don't want to sound like a dick, but a lot of those kids may have learning disabilities or they yeah. just or they just yeah. haven't been functional in regular fucking population no, that's, that's for true. academics. Fucking, you know what I mean? Like a lot of those kids need special type of schooling. You know what I mean? Not, I not, not a big name guy. on the building. No, they don't need special schooling. What they need is that fucking actor to go in there with the glasses and the in the comb over. Edward James Olmos? Edward James Olmos. Yeah. Hire him and the fucking whole school will fucking pass. What's yeah, the name yeah. of that movie? Um, fuck. He plays like basketball against the kid and shit. Um, you know, he's, he, he basically like teaches them like how to like just pass the exam. He's like, yo, like we're not going to learn. I'm just going to teach you how to pass these. Stand, in, stand and deliver. Stand and deliver. Yeah. Watch the movie Stand and Deliver. This is how people have to teach also, kids. Also a true story. Also a true story. Yeah. And they all like pass with flying colors. Yeah. These kids couldn't even fucking read. Yeah. And he was like, dude, I'm going to teach these kids. Yeah, what was that movie with fucking uh, Morgan Freeman? He's like, you want to do drugs, Mr. Sims? Yeah, you want to uh, jump and lean, kill yourself? Lean, lean on me. Yeah, you smoke that, crack, don't you? You smoke crack, don't you? You want to keep smoking, Mr. Sims? That was also based on a, on a, on a true story. Oh, it was? Put the chains yeah. on the dolls. That, that fucking movie... That movie's amazing. That movie was Lean what I thought me. Jared was going through every day at Roosevelt. When Dude, Jared went very to, similar. Yeah, Dude, my first day at Roosevelt, they fucking stabbed my friend Dwayne, bro. Oh, they st in class? In the fucking hallway, man. Got Dude. into a fight and fucking stabbed him. He had to be taken out in fucking ambulance. I remember being younger. I was telling mom and dad, I'm like, when I was a kid, I'm like, why don't we go to? Why can't we just stay in New York, go to school in Yonkers? And dad's got you want to end up stabbed like yeah. in Jared's school. No, I was dude, like, no joke. No. Yeah, fucking. Uh, well, yeah, Jared, went to, Jared went to a really. It's not bad anymore, but Jared went to a no. really bad high school. When we Fair Isa. Yeah, he's like, Father, I will stay. Remember that? That's the, when he catches him in the bathroom, he's like, "What y'all doing in here?" He's like, "Oh, nothing." He's like, "You know the school song?" And they're like, "No." And he's, he's they're like, "Yeah." And he starts singing it, and they end up killing it. It's like boys to men. Yeah. yeah. And he's like, "Who taught you that version of the song?" He's like, uh, "The gospel, the, the choir teacher." But that's that because uh, he, he gets through high. them by being by being a very aggressive yeah personality. Yeah, right? dude, he yeah. made it, he told the kid to kill himself on the roof. Yeah, yeah. he goes then jump, jump, Mr. Sam's, yeah. jump, yeah. you fat crackhead bastard. Yeah, he like says something like yeah, he like <laughs> screams at him. Yeah, you know. And then that, so Mr. Sims does die, doesn't he? Doesn't he get thrown no. off the roof by no. by other kids? No, 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 he survives. Oh yeah, he does um, survive. I forgot if, if any of the students die in it. No, that's no. that's Steel from Juice. Yeah, that's Steel. That that actor, Sims. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Sims. Yeah, Mr. Sims. No, he, he lives in Juice too, though. Yeah. He yeah, gets he survives. Shot, but he's yeah. Like, yeah. He's like, he lives through it. Rest in peace, Raheem. Uh, you, yeah, we're gonna have to wrap this one up, guys, because I'm so tired. But I hear you. But before we wrap it up, um, I wanted ah. to say. That I think next week we need Shawshank Redemption Morgan Freeman to come back. I would love that. Let's do. I'm more right. I'm so, I'm ready than I've ever been. <laughs> <laughs> just end it on that. Yeah, yeah. We're, gonna, we're just gonna end it. We're I'm gonna ready end to it do on it that. at all times. Absolutely. Da so good. Daily. 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 Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yo, can we do next week? Uh, Morgan Freeman, but you read Barack Obama's letter. letter. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna do it. I'll do it. I'm Fuck looking yeah, forward dude. to that. Yeah, no, I'll save it. Like, I'll save it. I won't even do it right amazing. now. Yeah, no, no, no. Let's save it. Like, so you can like practice it a little bit. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So uh, Mike's gonna read Barack Obama's gay letter. I can be black um, and I can be white. <laughs> <laughs> gonna read his gay letter. Uh, we'll, we'll all do characters next week. Yeah. How's that sound? All Jared right. does. I think before we go, I mean, we'll save it for next one. Fine. Yeah, let him. Jared it. does an amazing. No, I said it on the last episode. Jared does, or maybe I didn't. I'm saying it anyway. But if you guys want to watch the next episode, you should. Jared does an amazing, just regular DMX. 
not bark bark <laughs> DNA. Okay, all right. Yeah. Well, Jared, I'll, I'll Jared did it in the shit. car the other day when we were driving. I was like, "Holy shit!" Yeah. yeah no. All right. So let, we'll all we'll all come back with characters next week. Yeah. yeah all right. Cool. And we'll read different shit. Character right characters next Puta. characters next week, and then uh, maybe karaoke next week. Yeah, we could tra- karaoke. How's that going to work though? We could put it on the screen here. Yeah. And sing and just sing it, and then because ru- you can run it through here. Of course. So you, can, you can add effects and. The audio will run through here, but the the karaoke will be on the TV. Oh, I'm that'll down. be fire! I'm Let's down. do that. Yeah. yeah. All right. So maybe we'll do karaoke next week, but definitely I'll bring in impressions. All right. All right. Sounds uh, good. Mike, where can they find you on the internet, my friend? Michael underscore low priori and low everywhere and low priori Mike on X. Oh my god, that's so hot! And then Jared, where can they find you on the internet, uh, babe? Jared low priori at Instagram. Oh, that's so cool. And mm-hmm. then uh, you guys can find me at Daniel Lopiori everywhere on the internet. Hope you have a safe rest of your week. Call somebody. Tell them that you love them, even yeah. if you don't, just yep. to make them feel better about themselves. And, uh, yeah, we'll see you guys next week with uh, Morgan Freeman, DMX. And I don't know who I'm going to do. I'm going to uh, – maybe, maybe oh, he's going to be the Hulkster, really. But, uh, you know, we'll be Hulkster or Randy Savage, maybe. Let's do it. Have them cutting a promo on each other. Maybe get right. Tony in there for a second. Yeah, yeah. But, yeah, we we'll get Tony. And then we do, like, some prompts, like uh, – Tony Soprano like uh, like takes his dog to the vet or something. I love that. Yeah. All right, we'll have some prompts. We'll, have, we'll have some fun next week. But Tony yeah, Soprano guys. takes DMX's dog to the vet. Yeah, yeah, takes DM- <laughs> DMX as, as a dog to the, vet. to the vet. Yeah, all right, that'd be great. That'd be great. And Hulk Hogan's the doctor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's, we'll do that. Um, but yeah, guys, so thank- got bone cancer, brother. <laughs> so it's, it's, this dog's got bone cancer, dude. It's good. It's good. It's good. <laughs> I'm gonna survive. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's not ruin it. Let's not ruin it because we have to add music and shit to it. All right, but uh, yeah, guys, we'll see you next week. Thanks for hanging out. We love you and peace. We are out of here. Deuces. Later.